This is a WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications called How to Insert an Image in a WordPress Post or Page. And we'll get right to it here. Uh, here is the Business Blogging 101 website. I've got the font pumped up pretty large so you can see. And this post here, insert an image using WordPress, what, what we're going to use. We want to go and make it look like this with the uh, WordPress logo mark inserted into the post. Okay. So if we go to the dashboard, manage, posts, here's the post I want to edit. Click on edit. And the key to inserting an image is that you've, you've got to upload the image before you can do that. So below the visual text editing window, there is a tab. You can see here, Upload, Browse, Videos, and Slideshows. Uh, the Videos and Slideshows, this is a recent addition in uh, WordPress version 2.3. But Upload and Browse, those are common to the many of the latest versions. So Make sure you've got Upload selected and Browse. We're going to go and get the file that we want. Just find it on your computer. OK. I'm selecting this WordPress logo file. If you're a Macintosh user, uh, you've got to be sure that you've got the proper file extension on the end of the file name. It's possible on a Mac to have uh, files without file extensions. Uh, but for the purpose of WordPress, you've got to have it on there or it won't recognize the file. Okay, so I'm selecting WordPress logo. Click OK. Okay, that address is, is now in there. There's the WordPress logo file. I'm going to give the, the file a title, okay, which is uh, WordPress logo. And then I'm going to add a little more descriptive text, um, insert image using WordPress for the sake of search engines and anybody else that's uh, reading the, the pop-up text that, that they see when they roll over the image. Uh, this is handy. You want to put as much uh, descriptive text into title tags as you can in WordPress. It would be helpful for you in search engine rankings. Okay, click on Upload. And then you're shown this little interfa interface. Um, here's our image, okay, and there's our title that we assigned to it, WordPress logo. Uh, now we can insert it into the post here like so. I'm going to click at the top of my text. I could put this anywhere. If I, you know, hit return here twice, I could insert it here. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and do that. So you'll get a different look. Okay, so I've got a line of text. I hit return. My cursor is sitting there between the two uh, little paragraphs. And now I come back to my uh, WordPress image um, interface under Browse. I've got my image showing here. And I'm going to in insert it. It says Show. I can show a thumbnail, full size, or just the title. Uh, I'm going to show the image at full size. And I'm going to say Link to um, your options here are file, in which case um, when you click on this image, it's going to show you the image itself. Page, okay, in which case it's going to take you to a page on which that image appears. Or none. I'm going to select none, okay, just to be safe here. So I'm not going to have any link on that image. Okay, I'm going to send it to the editor. And there it is. It pops in there. You can see it in the visual editing window now. I can select that file. If I want to um, select the image, I mean, okay, I'm going to save it right now. Save that post. That's done. Come back out, refresh, see what we've got here. There, all right, it popped right in. There's our post with the image inserted. Um, you can see if I roll over it, I don't get any uh, you know hand that would allow me to click on that so we're good now one other thing if I wanted to assign uh, 
a URL to that image and make it into a link. I can do that easily. Go back and edit. Okay, there is my image. I click on the image. I go up to the link, insert link button. Okay, just like uh, creating a link out of text, except I'm selecting the image. I'm going to click on that insert link button. Okay, now I can put WordPress, whatever I want here. I can copy and paste a URL in um, WordPress.org. Okay, I'm going to have it open in a new window since it's going off my site. And I'm going to call this uh, go to wordpress.org. Okay, and I say insert. And now you can kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a blue line around the image. That won't display, but that means that it's uh, been assigned a link. Okay, now I'm going to click on save. Uh, people, when people see images in web pages, they want to click on them. They almost always feel like it, it should be clickable. Um, that's my experience. And okay, we've finished that. So it's nice to assign it uh, a URL, especially you know if you're talking about a topic that the image is illustrating. Okay, did we did we do that? Now I can see my little hand uh, for the cursor. And also I get the, the pop-up text that says go to wordpress.org. So that was uh, what we had put in as the title for that link. And if I click on there, I will get a new window popping up with uh, the wordpress.org website. Okay, so that is how you insert an image and also make that image into a link in WordPress.